Hello, we are back. How are you doing? And I'm here to answer yet another question. I have been asked, what is the difference between a server script or a normal script and a local script? Now, you might have come across this before. If you're on the model tab along the top here, you'll see we have uh, three options for scripts. We'll ignore module script for now. We don't need to worry about that. But you'll see there's a script and there's a local script. So I'll add both of these into the workspace, a script and a local script as well. And you'll notice they have a slightly different icon here. Um, but when we open them up, they both look identical. And you might be thinking, well, what is the difference between them? Um, so let's try and first of all explain um, what happens when you play a Roblox game. So if I pan the camera around here, you'll see there's something that I made earlier for you guys. So what we have here is the Roblox server in the middle here. And we have two players who are going to connect to that server and play a game of Doomspire Brick Battle. So if I play the game or run the game, you will see um, at the moment there's the server all set up over at Roblox. But both computers don't have the game running at the moment. So if we run the game, you'll see both these send out data, the server sends it back, and then suddenly both these players are online in the server, and they have to keep sending data back and forth between themselves to synchronize their devices with that of the server at Roblox. So when we refer to server side, we're talking about what's happening actually on the Roblox server. That's the game itself. What's happening over on Player 1 and Player 2's devices is they are known as client side or local. So they're actually running a copy of the game itself where it's the real game or the full, um, the full game if you like is on the server and these have running copies and so these have to get the, the server gets the information about where every other player is and then it sends out that information to every player, which it's replicated across. Okay, hopefully that makes some sense. So what does that have to do with scripts and local scripts? Well, you'll see I've got these two scripts open right now, and they both say print hello world. So you might think if I run the game, and let's make sure we have output uh, visible. If I run the game, you may notice it says hello world, but it only says hello world once. Would you not expect it to say hello world twice, seeing as we have two scripts? Well, the reason for that is that local scripts only run in certain folders and they only run on those client devices, on the player's devices. So if I move local script and I put it into one of the player's areas, uh, let's put it down inside the starter GUI or GUI folder. This is where you put graphics on the screen that you might want to display. And they're copied onto the player's device. So if we run that now, we should see Hello World. Oh, sorry. If we click Play and Join, then we should see Hello World twice. We've got it once in green and once in blue. And that means it's on the client. The blue is on the client and the green is on the server. So let's stop the game and provide another example. So why would you want to use a local script? Well, let's go ahead and add in a GUI here or a GUI. So with the starter GUI selected, insert object, insert starter GUI, wherever it is, screen GUI, sorry. And then inside of that, we're going to insert a text box and it's going to appear here and we can drag this around the screen. Let's put it roughly near in the center for now. And you'll notice that when I put my cursor on my click, I get a cursor and I can type in some text, very fancy. 
So how about we add a script inside of here, a normal standard script. And what we're gonna do is on a simple loop, while wait 0.1 do, and we're gonna print out the value of whatever's in that text box. So it'll be script dot parent dot text, I think. And then if we play the game, and you'll see down here, it's printing out blanks. The text box is empty. And if I start entering in the text, you'll notice it's still blank. Why is that happening? Surely the text should be appearing, you might be thinking. Well, that's because it needs a local script. Because right now I'm on the client, but that's checking what's on the server. And we can prove this by switching over. If we go onto the test tab along the top here, you notice next to the pause and stop buttons, there's a little box that says current client. That means we're currently playing as the client. But if I click this, it switches over onto the server. And you can see I can move around freely with the camera, just like we would within the development environment. But the game is still running. We can see my character there. And the text box is empty. Yet if we switch, we click that box again, switch back to the client, you can see the text box definitely has that content in it. And so the reason it's printing out blanks is because on the server, the text box is blank. But on this replicated version, because starter GUI is, has different contents for every individual player, they each have their own version of it. Uh, it's empty, sorry, it has content. And so we need to check on the client, on the local. So instead of having a script, which is a server script, we need to add a local script to check there. So let's open up this local script. And all we're gonna do is cut Control X, the contents from there, that script, and put it into the local script, and then delete that server script. So we just have this local script now with the same contents as before. So let's go ahead and click play. Game loads in, you can see it starts printing blanks again, although notice there's a blue uh, stripe at the side of it this time. And if I start entering in some text, it appears on the output. So you can see that this is clearly happening on the local. So I type hello there. If I press test, switch over to the server, the box is still empty. So this is important whenever you're using starter GUI or starter pack or anything to do with the player, you can use a local script if it's happening on the server, such as in workspace or server storage, you need to use a server script. I hope that clears up any confusion that might be about that. If you have any more questions, then ask away, I'll try and answer them. And you can now also hit me up on our Discord. Please join. We'd very much appreciate you joining our community there. And that wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.